and hey guys so today I'm going to be doing a I got this first impression my... on the Dr. Jart water infused BB beauty ball I got this in my June birch box so I thought I would try it out and see if I like it or not and this is just what it looks like and then I'm just gonna read right from the Dr. Jart website about the product so it is a one-step skin perfecting balm that minimizes the need for foundation or concealer and it is formulated to do unique water bead technology helps to hydrate and maintain healthy moisture for a dewy fresh look it features spf sun protection comes in one universal shade a moisturizer sunscreen and treatment serum this all-in-one product also hides imperfections made with 50 percent water dr jart's advanced water bead technology helps hydrate and maintain healthy moisture for a dewy fresh look like a drink for your skin, once applied, tiny droplets of water appear before being quickly absorbed, generating an instant soothing and cooling effect. This oil-free balm includes sunscreen ingredients that protect the skin from a broad range of UVA and UVB radiation, leaving skin looking smooth, perfect, and natural. Let's try it out. I'm just going to be using a knockoff beauty blender to put this on my face. Pretty hydrating so far. Not like in an oily way, but like a kind of like I just splash water on my face. It's like very cool feeling. I don't know. I don't really like how it's like one color fits all or whatever, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, and now I'm going to put on my concealer because this doesn't have a very good coverage, like, really at all. I wasn't going to set this BB cream, but I don't know, it feels kind of oily, so I think I'm going to go ahead and set it. And for that, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. Kabuki Face Brush. Okay, now that I've set the beauty balm, I will be back in a couple of hours just to kind of see how it held up. So I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's been about almost seven hours and I've, I'm not super, super impressed with this foam, well, with this beauty balm. Um, I just don't really see a huge difference and I know on the Birchbox site it's listed as $34 and I don't see it being worth $34 it's just I don't know I can definitely tell like right here and like on my nose and like certain spots where it just it really just didn't stay at all and um, so I'm not really impressed with this um, I hope you guys liked this review or I hope you guys like this first impressions and thank you for watching and please subscribe